are doing the hardest work on the planet, keeping the planet going. Yeah. And anything that we can do to serve the plants is a good thing. Yeah. And plants should not just be seen as crop plants yeah. for edible purposes, but as creators of environments, and they create global health. Without the plants, we have no health. Plants create environments, and environments create plant. is that around the buildings it's plants around the world and then it becomes indigenous plants to the Western Ghats and then it becomes plants totally indigenous to this place. Oh. And then the farm is worked in on inside all of it. The work is that these small plants are in high danger of being extinct very quickly, especially now. So it's a kind of a search and rescue operation. And we go all over the mountains to bring back plants. Yeah. And literally it's like this. Somebody yeah. saw that this had fallen off and then yeah. we pick it up and we bring it back. <laughs> so these are extremely endangered in the wild, the tree ferns. So mm -hmm. it's nice that they have just created their own place. They found the right place and then... ...pollinated by science of orchid pollination or something. So for everybody, there's a little thing. It's like going to the public library and there's something for everybody. Comic yes. books to the greatest yeah, works yeah, of yeah, literature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's very important because you don't assume things. I don't assume that people are interested in this or that or that. But by having a place that is, you know, the birds suddenly come through and then you realize that the whole environment is so rich. And you can see 40 species of birds as we just stand here. And, they go, and they'll just like go through. So then the forest also has a chance to tell its own story and we don't have to constantly demonstrate it. No, it's being demonstrated by the light. <laughs>
environments, we can see how this place has changed. You know, earlier people would walk and they would feel the heat just at the doorstep here. Oh. You know, as soon as you left it. But now it's a little bit further that the shade is still there. So the sense of coolness and how this district used to be like that mm -hmm. and how in 40 years time it's become the hot, a very hot place yeah. and how this leads to water. Yeah. It's a very clear connection. They made their own compost <laughs> and these are called bird's nest, nest ferns yeah. and they grow on trees and then the falling leaves from the top of the tree will gather there and with moisture, mist, rainfall they just disintegrate and the whole plant has found a way and there are many plants to make its own compost oh. because how do you <laughs> make organic matter on top of a tree? Yeah. It's rich in organic matter, it's constantly decomposing yeah. so all this is also living beings on the tree yeah. you know but this has found a very clever way of catching yeah. and then inside it you'll sometimes find other plants growing then you'll find worms inside earthworms are inside this uh -huh. on top of the tree <laughs> Botanical Garden Sanctuary that we visited yesterday and what I can say is that they are protectors of the diversity on earth. I have seen some like them uh, spread out around the world. What they do is basically be guardians of life. They are amazing people. I was so proud to see that one of the leaders is a woman, a very wise woman that just take care and embrace biodiversity as what it is, the gift of Mother Earth, the gift of gas, the gift of evolution. And they are taking care of this biodiversity that we think is not useful for anything, you know, that you don't have to eat it, that you don't have to uh, use it for something, but it's not true. Everything on the planet is a very subtle balance. So what they are doing is taking care, protecting, being guardians of beauty, of the flowers, of the little plants that you don't know how to use them, but they are there for something. So I was totally impressed and I am deeply grateful that this kind of experiences happen here in India. Little, little things that uh, are interesting for different types of people. So some people are not interested in conservation. They don't care about conservation. But they are fascinated by how just the anthurium can have this shape and this shape and that shape and that shape and that shape. Only appreciation. Well, it's a kind of a fascination, no? It's a kind of a madness. Yeah. Wow, look at that, and I want to have that, and I want to have that, and I want to have that, you know? So what we try to do is that every person who comes up the front entrance should have something that they find here that is of interest. And the moment you find this hook, then you can say, but the Anturians, they require the tree or the tree. You know, you can have a lesson that is woven around every person's yeah, 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 yeah. interest. Because I don't expect that everybody who comes here is interested in conservation.